Well, a very good evening to you of what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Well, this guy, Teo Hernandez, for me, has evolved into one of the best fullbacks, Peter. Certainly in terms of attacking contributions, you'd be hard-pressed to find someone as good as he is in the final third, especially with the movement that allows him to receive the ball in, in those little pockets of space. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. And if you didn't just miss it, we are up and running already. Grinders, Hernandez, chance! There it is! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. A oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Field changing the point of attack. Quick plant to goal. Petzella. now without reply we're looking at a very different game now the command has been established he'll hit it oh and they really should have been made to pay Shiru. 
It's Giroud! And more, and more, and more! And already they're looking to run away with it! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. He's made it three, quite a day in the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution for one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Milan have hit a quick fire double here. He's on his way. Caputo! Oh, the keeper's done just about enough. Yeah, they've got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Calabria drives it forward. That's been one straight back. Rafael Leao. Forward it goes. Kovalenko. Tony coming up to half time, leading and things are looking pretty good. Calabria, that is a terrific run. Mala Kovalenko, Marin, Bash Tony, Grinders, lets it back. Progress is made on the ball. Where to next? Calabria. There is the half time whistle. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much. And are cruising it at half time. 3 0 ahead. And we are already promptly back on the way. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. Kovalenko, Reindes, did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And it's Shiru. Loftus cheek. It's broken loose. And he should have made it four. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. That'll be a throw. Seller. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Now it's Shiru. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, it's about time, isn't it? Only after he's uh, just notched the third. Caputo. Out to the right. Kovalenko, Kovalenko clips one through. Kalapi. Reinders has created one goal already. Now it's Chukwese. Just brushed off the ball there. Petzela. Ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. His opposite number. And it's Giroud. Now the counter. 
Rafael Leao finds himself offside. Hernandez tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Chukwese. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. It's on a plate. Petzela as well to read it and intercepts. It's a brilliant interception. Milan clearly seem to have lost their passing accuracy, something they're obviously going to have to fix pretty quickly now. Gets it upfield. Hernandez was not to be moved. Dashing forward at pace. Now it's Loftus Cheek. Chukwese. Now, Caputo. Kovalenko. Now, now gets it out to the wing. Right this. So that's it. It is all over. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Your final thoughts, Jim? Milan simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predictable.